Hi, how are you? So I'm shooting this video with a 20-year-old camcorder. This is a JVC camcorder that I bought way back in 2004. And this was actually the very first camcorder that I ever owned. And I'll talk more about that later in the video. But I just thought it would be interesting. As you know, on this channel, I really love talking about old technology. And uh, video cameras are something that always really intrigued me and interested me. And uh, yeah, I remember from the time I was a kid growing up in the 80s, uh, some people I knew, some families I knew had video cameras, but back in those days they were very, very expensive. You really couldn't buy a video camera for less than a thousand dollars back at that time. And that was a thousand dollars in 1980s currency. I really shudder to think what that would be worth in today's money. But I remember it was often wealthy families that owned camcorders. And funny enough, uh, I, I remember back in the 80s, a lot of the camcorders were the big burly things that you sat on your shoulder and yet you operated with your one of your hands. And they were very heavy and very clunky and very expensive. And uh, often they would take VHS tapes. Now over the years, there's been many, many, many formats of videotapes. This particular camcorder takes mini DV. And I remember the mini DV format, I've talked about this in previous videos. The mini DV format was very, very popular kind of in the early 2000s. And I find it funny if you actually watch a movie from that time period, the early 2000s. I've seen movies where, for example, there might be a scene at a high school graduation, and in the crowd you'll see parents holding one of these palm quarters or cam quarters, whatever you wanted to call it. Uh, this exact same style, this mini DV style uh, video camera. Uh, it just seemed to be a really dominant format at that time. And certainly for a few years, mini DV was a very, very popular format, probably uh, the dominant format for quite some time. And then I found as the 2000s progressed and we got more into cell phone technology, and cell phones became better and better and then we got into smartphones and eventually I think the camcorders just started to die off because people just preferred to shoot videos with their smartphones. But again this is a very charming technology, it's a very outdated technology but I just thought it would be neat to shoot uh, a video with this old technology. And now that I think about it, uh, I actually have one of those old VHS camcorders, the one that you, you set on your shoulder. I have one tucked away somewhere. I can't remember if I found it at Value Village or if it was gifted to me, uh, but I really should dig that out and uh, do a review of it sometime, so please stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I remember, as I said, video cameras back in the day were so pricey and so expensive, and it really seemed to be an exclusive thing. And I'm very happy that with the advancements made in technology, uh, the video technology eventually became more accessible to the common person. That is, you know, the working class person who didn't really have a, a huge budget or maybe who only earned uh, a modest income. Back in the 80s, the people in that bracket couldn't really afford a camcorder. Well, I'm happy to see that nowadays everyone has a movie production studio in their smartphone. You can shoot, edit, and upload a very high quality video on your smartphone. So I'm very glad because in that sense it's much more accessible to anyone. Whether you just want to shoot a, a home movie of your child's birthday or if you're very creative and you actually want to go out and shoot a movie, uh, you can do all of that nowadays with your smartphone. So I find it very interesting how video technology has progressed over the decades. It's really, really fascinating to me. Now another thing I wanted to mention, if you have a lot of old video recordings from days gone by, maybe you have old VHS tapes or old mini DV tapes or 8mm tapes, I would strongly recommend that you digitize those tapes as soon as possible. Uh, it goes without saying, and it's a well-known fact, that uh, tape over time will degrade audio tape as well as videotape. With enough time, they tend to rot and degrade. So if you have some really precious old home videos, maybe you have some footage of your son or daughter's graduation or their birthday or the first words that they ever said, 
If you have an old tape with that stuff on it, please, I really strongly suggest you get that digitized as soon as possible because if you wait too long, you're just going to end up losing that material. Because again, um, tapes over time, especially if they're not stored properly, um, they're just going to degrade. So I strongly recommend that you look into that. If you haven't done that already, look into it. Um, often in many cities, there are local people who will do this or do it yourself. Um, I have a, a video where I show how to um, digitize old videotapes and it's very easy to do. Uh, you just need um, a, a particular device and I'll put a link at the end of this video to the other video where I talked about this. But basically if you have that device, you can plug it into your laptop and so one end goes into the laptop and the other end connects to your video camera and you're ready to roll and you can basically transfer uh, all those all those precious old video recordings onto your laptop and then you can do whatever you like with them. You could transfer them to your cell phone or put them on YouTube or burn them to a DVD, whatever you like. You can put them on a flash drive, whatever you like. That way you know they're safe and you can still look at them far into the future. So as I said, I've always had a really strong interest in video and video technology and home movies. Um, now this camcorder, this JVC camcorder that I'm using to shoot this video, again I bought it about 20 years ago. Uh, it never worked quite right from day one. It never seemed to work quite right. There were always little glitches and the image quality was just never that great. Um, you know, and even you can tell just by looking at this footage that I'm shooting here, the image is kind of hazy and grainy and just not very sharp at all. And a person might think, well, it's because you're using a 20-year-old technology. No, I've seen similar camcorders from the same time period, that is, mini DV camcorders from the early 2000s, that look much, much better than this one and do a much better job than this one. Um, I actually had to send this camera away. The um, pop-up, the, there's an LCD screen on the side of the camera that pops out and uh, one day it just stopped showing an image on the LCD screen. So I had to send it away and get it serviced. Um, but yeah, from day one it never quite worked quite, quite right. I think I paid about $400 for this camera, brand new. Um, and yeah, I was never fully happy with it. I did use it a few times. I shot some music videos with it just for fun. Um, I you know, filmed some special events with it. Um, I shot some documentaries with it when I was in university. Uh, I took it on a, a number of trips. I shot some travel footage with it. So I wouldn't say it's a total write-off. I have gotten some use out of it. So again, I've never been totally happy with it, but it, it, I've gotten some use out of it anyway. So that's my look at this sort of outdated technology. Um, please feel free to leave a comment. Tell us, have, did you use the mini DV format? What do you think about it? Do you still have your old mini DV camera? Uh, feel free to leave a comment. And on that topic, I wanted to make a special channel announcement. Um, people love to make comments on the Tech Review Guy channel and I thoroughly enjoy that and thoroughly welcome any comments. From the time I started this channel, it was always my policy to try to read and respond to every single comment. I just felt that that's, that's what I wanted to do and that's what I tried to do. But as the channel grows and as I get more and more subscribers, I get more and more comments and it's getting harder and harder all the time to keep up with all the comments. So I do strongly apologize if you made a comment and I didn't share it or I didn't make a comment. I'm very sorry. I am looking at making some adjustments to the comment settings on this channel, so hopefully that situation will improve in the very near future, so please be patient. Uh, I certainly value your comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can join us again next time. Please, as I mentioned, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and as always, please subscribe to the channel. It's always greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.